Portland, or a man charged with the stabbing deaths of two commuters on a Portland light rail train was on autopilot and wasn't fully aware of his actions until he heard passengers screaming that he was killing people, according to a psychological evaluation unsealed Friday. The evaluation ordered by Jeremy Christian's attorneys was submitted to the court last month as part of an unsuccessful bid to secure his release on bail. Christian, 35, has pleaded not guilty and is in custody awaiting trial. At a hearing last month, Portland homicide detective Michelle Michaels testified that Christian inflicted 11 stab wounds in 11 seconds after passengers confronted him about anti-Muslim comments directed at two teenage girls. Passengers Taliesin Namkaimesh, 23, and Rick Best, were stabbed to death. A third man, Micah Fletcher, was slashed in the throat but survived. Whether Christian was animated by racial bias and was harassing the girls or not before the attack could be pivotal questions in the case. The defense evaluation quotes Christian as saying the two girls were 15 feet away and he didn't speak to them or direct his comments at them. At odds with accounts in the media, Mr. Christian reported that the two girls on the max did not cross his mind, wrote Drive. Mark D. Cunningham, a Seattle-based psychologist. Cunningham said Christian liked to make inflammatory comments in public to assert his right to free speech but was not driven by racial hatred. He had consumed sangria that day and planned to do his free speech thing because he was angry about being pepper sprayed the night before by a passenger on another train. Mr. Christian reported that if he has been drinking, he tends to talk politics on the max to see if he can get someone's goat, Cunningham wrote. According to the detective's previous testimony, Christian got on the train about 12 minutes before the attack initially talking on his cell phone before making statements toward passengers in an agitated manner. Michael said many witnesses heard xenophobic comments and rants about free speech. Fletcher recalled Christian yelling at the girls, one of whom was wearing hijab and saying they didn't belong in the United States. Fletcher moved toward Christian as the girls moved away, Michael said. He joined another man, Sean Ford, in trying to get Christian to be quiet. Ford then told Fletcher to let it go, and the college student stopped talking to Christian for about three minutes, the detective said. During that period, Namkaimesh moved away from Christian as he spoke to his aunt on the phone. She suggested he record the rant in case something happened. Under cross-examination, Michaels acknowledged that a witness heard Namkaimesh tell Christian, you're going to be an internet sensation. Christian grabbed the cell phone and threw it to the ground. The men stood chest to chest, the detective said, and Christian repeatedly challenged Namkaimesh to do something. Fletcher defended his fellow passenger, and Christian shoved both men. Fletcher pulled Christian backward, then gave him another shove toward the open door of the now-stopped train, Michael said.